If you are looking for a laugh, the Bangers Comedy Show is where you need to be. The weekly shows at Neighbors Tap Room happens on Thursdays and feature the best comics in the area, especially out of town guests as well. And this morning, we are talking to the co-hosts and co-producers of the show, Bjorn RG and Eliza Butler. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thanks for having us. Yeah, no problem. You gotta tell me more about the show because you guys are hosting and producing. So I yeah. assume mm -hmm. this is a heavy load on you yeah. and there's no one better to tell us about it than you guys. Yeah, well, I think we split up our duties pretty well. Um, I do the booking. He does all of like the design of the show and we have a third person who does our social media. So it's not too heavy, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we have a great show tonight. Um, we have comics, um, Michael Marcus, um, Nathan Hart, who's coming up from Eugene and then Arlo Weyerhaeuser, who is Fantastic, been local on late night legend. TV, local legend. Absolutely, we're really thrilled for tonight's show. So. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, so do you guys have a lot of local people or is it more national? And if we have some local comics out there, how do they get in touch with you to kind of like show off their skills? Yeah. Uh, you could reach out on our Instagram. That's mm -hmm. probably the best place. Just like slide into our DMs for yeah. that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and we'll, you know, book. We do book a lot of locals. We, mm -hmm. uh, but some out of town, like when people come through, we they like to come stop by. We've had some yeah. cool names on the show. Nice. Absolutely. So what yeah. are the vibes? Like, is it for is it kid friendly or is this leave <laughs> leave the babies at home? Yeah, leave the, leave the, babies, leave at the home. babies at home. <laughs> yes, absolutely. We Twenty one like plus. The title helped a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> yes. Read yeah. into that title. <laughs> yeah. But it's because every show is a banger. That's why we yes. called it that. And we're huge Miley Cyrus fans. So, so we're okay. honoring her. All right. <laughs> Absolutely. Tie that in there. I yeah. like that. So it's a similar vibe to her album. That was like the vibe when we were building the show out was like, oh, this kind of looks like bangers from Miley Cyrus. And then we're like, why don't we just call it that? <laughs> just went with it. That is the, the beauty in like doing your own thing. You can call it whatever you want. Get the inspiration from wherever you want. I love that. Do you guys have a dream lineup? Like if you could put oh a show gosh. together without any restrictions, who's going to get on that stage? Oh my God. I mean, oh. it's crazy to say we've had <laughs> yeah. a few We have. A, question that's no. Shaking no. You right a little, a little. But she does the booking, so I'm yeah. very excited. No, but we have, oh my gosh, I'm going to have be such a fan girl about it. But so Kyle Kinane is my favorite comic of all time and he actually um, lives locally now. And so we've been able to have him on the show. So for this person who is just legendary to me to be like, yeah, come on our show. Like it's been <laughs> such a cool experience. I'm so embarrassed now. <laughs> I think if we could get Roy Scoble to show up oh my and God. do our yes. show, we, yeah. that would, we'd lose our okay, minds. Yeah. We did have, um, we did have a, a comic I was a huge fan of, Mike Kaplan, mm -hmm. did a guest spot on our show. Okay. Once. Yeah. He yeah. just swung through, and that yeah. was cool. And I think we're really lucky in Portland that we have just so many really strong talents who live here, um, who are touring nationally, and as well as our like local scene is really talented. So it's kind of like a wealth to draw from. We do have a lot of talented people here. I, I, I'm originally from Chicagoland, but coming here, you, oh, you yeah, are you yeah, I lived there for a long time. I mean, <laughs> out coming here, you just see people's talents in every aspect of walking down the street and there are so many makers and entrepreneurs, so many mob and pops, and I'm now finding out so many funny people, so many talented people, Portland Playhouse, I love it. Yeah. So, but how did this even like get started? Um, well, we've been friends for a couple of years, four, four or five, four five years, years now. Years. Yeah, a yeah. long time. Well, it's and hard with the pandemic that's like in the yeah, middle there. Yeah, like, We stayed friends just, you know, so yeah. we'd go to parks with our... <laughs> yeah, we'd go to parks with <laughs> social distance. But yeah, we like everything stopped and then everything slowly started coming back. People were getting more comfortable and comedy works better in smaller spaces. Like all the things that make comedy good were yeah. not good for restrictions. Yeah. So, once that was back, there's this uh, bar, Neighbors Tap Room, uh, my partner and I became a regular at. And I was just like, oh my God, it'd be so cool to do a show here. And we partnered, you know, we talked about it. I had the whole vision. We have a neon yeah. sign. Yeah. And yeah. And it's like a whole thing. It takes me two hours to set up and take down every time. And but it's worth it, right? It's totally oh, yeah. worth it. Yeah. Like, I want it to look good. Like, it's got to be very... Instagrammable, like <laughs> as crazy as that uh, is. Oh, that is it's not gotta, crazy. It's gotta like look good. Like if I'm gonna stare at someone for an hour, I want it to like be lit properly, <laughs> yeah. have like an aesthetic, and a, you know. I love it. It's it's perfect. I love talking to anybody who like has that vision and then puts in the work to make it come true. Thank you so much, guys. I really yeah. appreciate you yeah. being here, guys. Thank you. Go get your tickets. 
bangers comedy show. It's going to be a banger. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so I much. No problem. Yeah.